So here we have the Volkswagen T-Roc R-Line on a 69 plate. I've got to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space, as well as that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this tray section can lift to reveal even more space and a space saver spare wheel as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the coolant temperature gauge, then the rev counter, and it will show you what gear we're in within that rev counter, so it's an automatic, we're in park at the moment. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer, with a digital readout for the speedometer in the middle of that, and then the fuel gauge on the far right-hand side. You can also see in the centre there the total miles for this car, which are 20,803. The sat-nav information that's displayed above that can be changed for various different menus. So you've got a telephone menu, your vehicle status, driving data, assist systems, and then background to navigation again. And the buttons I was using to do that are over here on the right-hand side, along with stereo controls, which continue on the left-hand side, and then cruise control. Once you set cruise control, you can hit this button in the middle here. This car is able to then maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically, depending on the car in front's speed. Over in the centre, we then have the touchscreen for the car. So this is where you can access your radio. We've got DAB, FM and AM radio. You can listen to your own music from over here as well. And you'll see loads of ways of doing that, including Bluetooth audio. So you can stream your music wirelessly, as well as making and receiving phone calls after you've paired up your phone, of course. Uh, you've already seen, but this car's got satellite navigation. So its main screen uh, will appear over here. Uh, obviously, you can look at the screen in the centre of the uh, dial, should you wish to do that. Working our way down from there, we then have the dual zone climate control. So you can turn the system on and adjust the fan speed with this middle dial. You can decide the direction that the air is being distributed in just here. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. When you're happy with all of those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on and off again. Or you can hit auto. The car will then maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish to. Under that, we have two USB-C inputs, plenty of storage as well, and the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.